In this instruction video, we will shortly explain the concept Innes condition. Let's consider the simple example of a cause of a fire. We know for a fact that fires can start in various ways. For example, by tossing a light-up match into the woods or by a lightning strike. We can make two important comments when it comes to the cause of a fire. None of the causes is necessary to start a fire and none of the causes is sufficient to start a fire. I will explain why both statements hold. First of all, the two causes mentioned in the example of starting a fire are not necessary because a fire can also start as a result of other causes, such as throwing away a cigarette into the woods. Second, none of the causes is sufficient to start a fire, because other factors are also required to start a fire. For example, a lighted match must contact combustible material, such as dry leaves, and there must be oxygen. In other words, a lighted match is part of a set of factors required to start a fire. The light of match in this example is an Innes condition. An insufficient but non-redundant part of an unnecessary but sufficient condition. Let's explain what that means. It is insufficient because a light of match cannot start a fire without the other factors, such as oxygen. So in other words, a light of match alone cannot start a fire. It requires other factors as well. It is non-redundant because it adds something fire-promoting that is uniquely different from what the other factors add. For example, dry leaves add combustible material. The light of match is part of a sufficient condition to start a fire. The condition is a set of required factors. And with these factors, a fire can start. But that condition, that set of factors, is not necessary because there are also other sets of factors that can start fires. Most causes are actually in its conditions. Often many factors are required for an effect to occur, but we rarely know all of them and how they relate to each other. This is one of the important reasons that the causal relationships we discussed during this course are not deterministic. So if A occurs, B will occur, but probabilistic. The presence of a cause increases the probability of the occurrence of an effect. So if A occurs, B is more likely to occur.